welcome to another edition of Bella TV. Today's do-it-yourself is a very adorable bow. Um, hair bows are totally hip, they're totally in style right now. Go to anywhere and bows, 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 bows. Uh, my 18-year-old daughter wears bows every day. And the ironic thing is that when I first started uh, my first business, which was before I started my jewelry company, was called Bow Fashions. And I started making bows when I was about my daughter's age. Uh, she's 18, I think I was a little older, I was 19. I sold them to Nordstrom's. Funny, at 19, I know. Okay, let's get started making these adorable, adorable little bows. These cute little guys for your hair. Um, they are absolutely so easy to make and so inexpensive. I mean, we're talking pennies to make these. And um, my daughter loves these, and she's 18. And also my next door neighbor, she loves these, and she's 12. So bows are popular, and I'm gonna show you an easy way to make them. Uh, so what you'll need is you will need felt. You're gonna need felt, go to your, uh, to your um, local yardage store and go get fabric and, in the fabric store, and you're gonna get these little felt squares for like a quarter. So imagine how many you can make out of one you can make, uh, you could probably make t at least 10 out of them, maybe even more, um, out of one color. And then you'll need a Sharpie, and you will need scissors, and you will need a glue gun, and you will need some kind of uh, barrette backing. I like these little guys. They're kind of like a little, uh, little clippy that opens and closes like this. Uh, you could use the ones that, um, that kind of self-secure, you can use those, whatever one you're more comfortable with. Uh, and then you will also need um, these little templates that you're gonna make whatever size you wanna make your bow. And these will be available uh, if you go to bellabranch.com and click on Bella Branch TV, and um, we'll give you all the information, also the list of stuff I just told you. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna start with, let's see, I'm gonna make this hot pink one because maybe that'll be easier for you to see. No, I'm gonna make this salmon color one. That's kind of a cool one. My daughter will like that. Um, I'm gonna move all these little bows to the side. All right, so what you're gonna do is, there's two sides to felt. Um, one is, you can kind of see, it almost looks like there's like little holes in it. That's the bottom side. That's not the one you wanna use. You wanna use the ones that are, the, the side that's more smooth. That's the more smooth side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to make a bigger size bow, okay? I'm going to make this bigger size bow. There's a clip on the back so you can see it. So I'm going to take this template. Here's a little template I made. And I am going to trace around it. Super easy using my Sharpie. And you can um, see so you can fit a ton of these on here, all different sizes. Then I am going to cut it out. So you're going to cut out on the inside of the Sharpie line. Like this. Okay. Oops. And you can be as creative as you want with the, um, the felts. I even saw some that were like leopard print. So there's some cool felts out there. more little thing all right okay and so then what you're going to do is now you have your little template cut out then you take that the the dimply side the one that had the holes kind of you're going to have that facing you okay and then you're going to take the two ends and they're going to kind of go to the center like this see that's going to create the shape of your bow so what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun and oh, I need more glue in there. And I'm gonna take the glue gun and I'm going to put one little line of glue there. Okay, right in the middle, just like that. Super easy. And I'm going to put that in there, and that in there, and just gently dab it down, okay? So now you've kind of created a shape of your bow. It's kind of dimensional. Now what you want to do is you want to make, see the bow is kind of stiff looking and a regular bow would have, it'd have like a pleating effect in the center. 
like like one of these. See it has right in here and right in there. So what you do now is you are going to want to cut out a little strip of the same felt. Just about, it's about, a, I don't know, quarter to a half inch wide. Just do a little strip like that, okay? And I eyeball that. You don't need a pattern for that. And what you're going to do is you are going to take your little bow and kind of like pinch it together. So it's kind of, and it's going to make that effect that you want that looks like a little, um, little pleat. And you're going to flip it over. This one, this one takes a little practice when you're doing this. Okay, I'm making my little pleat. Okay. And I'm going to put a dab of glue right here on the bottom side. I'm going to take this little guy. I'm going to put it right here. And I am going to flip it around. Okay. So I'm making it tight. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now I haven't secured the back side yet. So here's the back side. I haven't secured it yet. And you kind of have to hold this. This takes a little bit of a you're holding and cutting at the same time. Okay, and um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure where it goes to the end here and I'm going to snip that. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of slide my thumb back. I'm going to flip this up and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And you don't want glue to seep under there because I you can you can secure your little clip backs permanently if you want, but I like them to slide in and out and then I could just use the same clip back with with different bows. So I'm going to put a little dollop of glue right there like that and I'm going to gently push that down. Try not to burn yourself. It is hot. Okay. All right, wait for that to dry a little. Okay, all right, so here's your little bow, and what I do is I stick my thing, my little pinky on the inside right here to kind of fluff the bow. Okay, there's your little bow. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. And then I'm going to take my clippy. Where did I put my little clippy? I lose my clippy already. Two seconds, I lost my clippy. All right, here's a bag of clippies. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the clippy right through here. Okay, there you go. Now I have it on a clip back. There you go. See how easy that is? Super, super simple. All right. If you, and you could do some creative things too. Like you could take some really pretty ribbon if you want and use the center of ribbon. Maybe you find a polka dot ribbon or you know some coordinating color that you really like, glittery kind of ribbon, whatever you like. Um, and um, you can kind of go wild with these, okay? They're super, super cute. And uh, I hope you have fun with them. And if you'd like to see what's new with us, um, just click on the subscribe button above. And we'd love if you leave a comment. I'd love it. I would reply to your comments. And um, again, to get the list and the um, templates of, of what you need, go to bellabranch.com and click on Bella Branch TV and you can have all the info. All right, until next time.